Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate demo. In this short video, I'll be showing you some of the things that QImage Ultimate can do with respect to your photographic printing needs. As many of you may know, the old QImage product was always designed with one goal, and that was to print multiple photos easily at high quality. Well, we wanted to go beyond those goals, so we created QImage Ultimate. QImage Ultimate can be used as an image databasing tool, an archiving tool. It can be used to schedule print unclogging functions while you're away and much more. Let me get started by showing you how the interface has changed. The interface is now streamlined and more consistent and you'll notice that it doesn't have print size buttons or other things to take up space on your desktop. Instead, we've put those functions on the objects where they're needed. For example, on each thumbnail, we can just click the Add button to add a print at the current size that we're working with. We can click Print Properties, and we can choose a size. So I'll start with that. Let's click Print Properties and choose a 5 by 7 for that print and we'll click the print properties and choose a 4x6 for this one. Now you'll notice on the page we have the same print properties button. That's because you might want to select a print that has already been sized. Click print properties and change the size of that print to anything you like. And just like the old Q image, things are automatically arranged on the page for optimal spacing. And of course, you can override that, click and drag. You can go to the full page editor where you have more control. And you can click the cropping tool and crop different portions of the image, zoom in on different portions, and so on. So you can see how quickly you can do things and set up your print jobs to your liking. Let me clear the queue here and show you a nice feature, which is creating your own layouts. At the bottom of your thumbnail list, there's always a template, and that template is a placeholder. So I can add, let's say, two 5x7s to the page, and these are placeholders for future images that you might place in there. But in this case, I want one print in the upper left of the page, and another one in the lower right. So I can decide that this is the layout that I want. And then I can go to the Save button. I can click L for Layouts. And I've done this before, so I already have a demo layout. So I'll just overwrite that one. And now I've saved a layout. It's that simple. Now I'll clear the queue and just start over to show you how easy it is to use that layout. I'll click the Print Properties button that defines the print properties for the current page that I'm working on. Select Custom Size, Layout, click OK. I'll locate that demo layout that I've done. Open that. And now, as I add images, just click the plus button on each thumbnail. They go into the placeholders that I've designed. Keep on going, and it'll add another page with the same layout, and so on. You can see how easy it is to do custom jobs in that fashion. We also have a new feature here, and I'll just add another 5x7, and okay, I'll go into the page editor, and this is the ratio of this image is different than the print, so I want the bird's head, so I'll just drag this down. I'm done with that. I have the image that I want, and now we have a new feature, right click photo mats. I'm going to add a photo mat to this and this is a way you can get uneven borders. I want a smaller border around these three sides and a larger one on the bottom because I might want to put some floating text in there with this page editor. So when I do that you can see that I get a mat with uneven borders and I could keep going. I could add two or three more mats with different colors. You can see how that would be useful and you can probably already see 
how difficult this would be to use in a program that's designed for photo editing or just simple printing. It would take ages to try to get a border of your liking at the color that you want or to select this color from the bird and use that color. And QImage Ultimate is very simple. Let me talk a little bit about the database tools because the database tools allow you to very simply locate, archive, and find in the future the images that you're interested in. This fence right here, I like this photo, but I don't know how I'm going to find it in the future. But with QImage Ultimate, it's easy. This little information button here says Add User Data. So I can click that and put in Colorful Fence. And if I want to, I know Fred shot that, so I'll just enter that in there. Now that's in the database. There's no need to deal with libraries or trying to figure out keywords or IPTC data. Any image that you can see here, you can put in the database that simply. You just hover over this eye and you can even see what you entered. Or if you like, if you have a specific photo shoot, this folder here I put together for the purposes of this demo. So I can put the whole folder, can put a description on that in the database and call it demo folder. And just by typing that, I don't need to do anything more. I just type it in there. Now that's in the database so that when I go into this search tool here and search for that in the future, I can find either a folder that I've put database information on or specific images. So if I want to find this specific image, it's as simple as clicking the binoculars here and I'll just type fence, press enter twice because that's the easiest way to, to go here. It found one image named uh, Colorful Fence in the description. When I double click that, it'll automatically go to this folder and have the image highlighted for you. Another example, I know I have some hibiscus flowers. So search for that and let's say I want the yellow ones. I'll double click on this folder. It automatically goes there and I can look at the fact that I've named the folder yellow hibiscus and that's how it found them. And in here I can use a new tool. Uh, let's say I have several of these at about the same angle but I don't know which one is sharpest. So I'll select those three and do best shot selector. And what that does is bring up two side by side. It'll bring up the first two. And I can lock these together and go over and look at my subject and Okay, to me, the one on the right looks a little bit sharper, so I'll select that one. When I select that one, it keeps this one and reloads the next one in the sequence on the left beside it. Now the one on the left looks a little sharper, so I'll select that. And when you get down to one, that's your best shot. So I'll just close this dialog, and my best shot is selected. And now I can go into my database, rate that a five, and it'll automatically sort it for me, and so on. You can see how these tools work together to allow you to quickly find your photos, find which one is the sharpest, be able to find them in the future. We have other tools that are new here. We have a hot folder system that will allow you to turn on hot folder monitoring and allow QImage to accept prints of different sizes from other devices. It could be a smartphone, a Mac computer, anything else. When you turn on the hot folder monitoring, you can send photographs to QImage Ultimate and have it print them for you. We have a print unclogging tool where you can take a print pattern and print that to your printer and many times that pattern is able to unclog minor clogs on your print head without having to waste ink on cleaning cycles. You can also print this unclog pattern here which I'll show you. This is what the pattern looks like. It's designed to pulse different colors at different rates and unclog those minor clogs for you. You can go into here and actually schedule this to print that unclog pattern once a day or once every two days while you're away. So there are a lot of new features here that help QImage Ultimate be a lot more than just a way to print multiple photos. We have 
new deep focus sharpening, which is much higher quality sharpening than the traditional unsharp mask. It can sharpen your photos with more sharpening without any halos. We've improved the color management, the interpolation methods, and done a lot under the hood here to make sure that you still get the highest quality prints, but that you also have new tools that you can use to make QImage Ultimate your ultimate photographic printing tool. I hope this video has been helpful in this quick look and be sure to download the demo and give it a try. Thanks for watching.